Oh, hi, I'm over here now. Uh, how... Mm. Well, this makes this mildly inconvenient. I guess let's go for the further ones first. There's bits all over the place. Probably just... Eh, I don't know. Okay, which ones are closest? Because, yeah, I'm going to need all of these. Then I'll just kind of keep keep helping. Yeah, grab the big shards first. Do they disappear after a while? It doesn't look like they do. Because those two that uh, are near the waypoint have still been here. Okay, the big shards are the actual reward. This is, oh, that's an Ayatin shard. Okay. Well. Now, are the icons on the, uh, on the HUD any different? Oh, that's a flawless sentient core. Good thing I grabbed that. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any difference in the icons. It'd be nice if, uh, if there were slightly different visuals for each of the different core types. I guess it's not that big of a deal. I might just start streaming Warframe in the uh, in the evenings again. I'm not entirely sure like what the schedule will be. But I'll try and let people know in advance. I guess it really just depends on when I don't need anything else. Or you guys are just hanging out of the shrine. I was just going in a direction. Sorry. Those bounties infected my brain. Can you imagine fighting like an Uragon but with Warframe controls? Oh, that'd be cool. Okay, it's a coin toss on whether or not we can make it. I believe in you guys. Let's see, need the radiant shard to lure it out. Did I grab it? Yup. Okay, so where's Biggin? Oh. There's Bi Biggins. Ah, oh, yes, he does have a straight up storm cloud. Well, I'll just help in whatever way I can and die. Oof. At least I can immediately pop back out. I'm glad that there's no cooldown on that. Because that, I think that would suck. I am getting bolted. I assume the trick for this guy is don't stand still. Okay, kill the purple clouds with extreme prejudice. Uh, are they high or low? Oh, those things. And do I have to kill them with me or can I kill them with my gun? Okay, gotta kill them with me. Looks like they just spit bombs. That's annoying. Oh, you have to feed uh, the lures with Vomulus? I did not know that. That's kind of cool. But you've lost the ability to use abilities? How did it bug out on you? That's unfortunate. So the, the lures suck up Vomulus to power up. That's neat. 
Oh, hey, speaking of purple vortexes. Come on, just a they're they're kind of ghosts. Ah. They run out of energy just so fast. Is a pain. At least this guy is uh comically easy to hit. Do we have another one? Yeah, we do. I'm not hitting it. I hate just how long it takes for my my energy to roll back. Half the time I kind of die in the process too. Ah. Okay. How much night do we have left? Probably about 10, 15 minutes. Oh, the clouds give the Vomulus invincibility. Good to know. How do you know when the uh, lures are ready? Because they're glowing like that, I assume? Ah, the icon is blue. That, that is, that makes sense. I'm just gonna keep bum rushing the portals, I guess. It's about the best I can do. What? Why am I back in? Nope. I'm in Stomp Town. Shouldn't be in Stomp Town. Don't really know if I can be anywhere other than Stomp Town. Oh yeah, I guess their icons do turn from um. Their icons do turn from, um, from, uh, orange to blue. That makes sense. Oh, man, that's gone. Get out of here. Oh. He is apparently on our side. Okay. Ah, shoot. I don't have any energy for this. Apparently, I just totally ran out. Oh, there it is. Now if I just hang out on these pads? No, pads don't seem to affect operators either. I assume I should be killing the Vomulus if I can? Seem to be wrecking me something fierce, though. Uh, I'm not entirely sure why. Okay, stay under the green ground effect. Yeah, figured as much. Does he have a shield back? Yeah, he's got a shield back. Not very good at retaliating, uh, retaliating uh, at attacking this guy. He likes to just kill me, and I like to run out of energy. Let's see, do we have any more like weird vom clouds? No, it doesn't look like it. There we go. I gotta remember to switch back and forth. I can't kill a Vomulus with my uh, my current amp. Doesn't work. Did we lose? Did we lose a lure, or are we only supposed to have three? Oh no, we've we've got four lures. Did we lose one? I see four. Yeah, I see four, like, physically hanging out there, but I only see three icons. Okay, the icons sometimes bug out. Okay. 
And I'm dead. Ow. Yeah, because I see three icons, four lures. Which probably means we're safe. Yeah. It is kind of impressive just how, um... Just how buggy this all is, though. I guess... These new, uh, Eidolons were only added a couple days ago, though. Like a week? A week or two? Oh. That's... Death Ground. Let's try and beat nowhere near it. Or try and get closer to it. I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on. I was like trying to get up to attack him, and it's just like, no, everywhere is just shit land to stand. Okay, it was a weekend ago. So I guess I'm actually uh, back at a fairly appropriate time. Walking myself into lightning strike spots. I guess it's not that big of a deal. Okay, ow. Shit. I can't do anything to this guy. I am sorry. I didn't realize he'd be able to hit me from all the way over here. I'll just poke him in the knees until the blooms show up. Okay, I think that's in time. I think we're good. Okay. So we're what? Halfway point on this guy? Could be a problem, I, I don't really know. I really wish I could pop this guy's shields off faster, but unfortunately I am uh, Captain Butts of the useless squad. I'm over here now. Oh, those lightning bolts. They do have good tells, it's just hard to work with it. don't know what's going on. i make sure I've got enough energy, though. Well, at least this place is a endless chain of, uh... Endless chain, chain of, uh, Vomulus, even if it's not the most helpful. Oh, I gotcha. Oh, no, I don't gotcha. But it's trying to get... Yeah. Oh, jeez. This is problems. I'm just running around as my operator just because my chance of survival... Oh. Just because my chance of survival is negligible otherwise. Well, this seems like it's going smoother. And for next time, maybe I'll have enough, uh... Nope, nope, it's, I'm dead already. Maybe for next time I'll have enough, uh... I think I was walking into the bad ground, maybe. I'll have enough, uh... What's it? Uh, I'll have enough to get a better amp. I think I'm gonna have to go mining above all else. Like, that's going to be... That's going to be kind of the limiting factor here is what resources I have. Fish parts, too. Oh, goody. Well, I mean, we could always do a fishing stream. I don't think I'd have anybody join me for fishing, though. It's 
from my experience, it's harder fishing around other people. Oh, I spawned inside a rock. You have... Okay, oh shit. I forgot to... I forgot to switch back to my operator, I'm sorry. Nope. Damn it. I think the worst part of all of it is just like I'm trying to get over here to revive and just get nuked twice on the way in. Oh, they switch fishing around so it's more co-op. That's good. Oh. Is he vulnerable or not? I actually honestly can't tell. Ow. Or the Vomulus are, are shielding him. The hell is going on? If you're in oper uh, operator mode and he's got a purple bar that says shields. Yeah, I figured. It's just... I wasn't doing damage to him either. Which was confusing to me. I don't have enough range to hit that fuck. It's very hard for me to see what's going on with all these like visual effects over this. How many minutes left? Maybe we got this. Well, we're past the halfway point, so it seems pretty positive. We've got one, two parts left. Considering we got to this part when he was at, uh, we started the fight just shy of 20 minutes. I think we got it. Ow, come on. Oh, and I'm all the way back. Note to self, consider more survivability on Haro. I think I kind of always knew that, though. Yeah, it's... De oh, shit. But... Let's get out of the dank zone. Bad place to leave my frame. Respawn and immediately die. Okay, where are they? There they are. I don't actually know the range on my, uh... On my invincibility field, but I, uh, don't want to risk it. By being too far away. So what is he carrying around? It looks like he's carrying around some kind of giant girder looking thing. Whoa, hi. Got some air on that one. Okay, Covenant is Affinity Range. Cool. So if I increase my Affinity Range, does that increase the range of Covenant then? Cool. I gotta work on that. Uh, maybe, maybe once, uh, once, I don't know. At some point, I might just get like a an, aff an Affinity Booster and we can go uh, Focus Farming or something. I'm just nowhere close to him. He's about to lose his shields, though. His guys give you a ton of focus, too. Well, maybe it's a self-feeding cycle. I don't know. Okay, he's pissed about stuff. He's just pissed about whatever. Nope. Oh. Hello. Nope, you're dead. Okay, he's contained. 
means I probably don't have to worry about Super shields. I'm gonna do it for a second though. I figure this is probably a fine time for uh, shielding up. So once he's done with this, do we, uh, it's just wail on him time? Cool. I don't think I'm going to do damage to him. I think I'm also maybe going to die. M I might do more damage in operator mode. But that's okay. I think you guys have got this. I guess I'll do this for extra survivability. Yeah, I don't do much damage to him. But I guess it's fine. Uh-oh. This is the Vomulus. This is Vom Party. Oh. I can see I got Buzzkill. Did we get him? Oh yeah, there it goes. Just hanging out in the bad zone. Okay. Well, thank you guys. This is fun. And I assume some of these are good. I don't know. I there was just a bunch of stuff that just kind of pooped out of the uh pooped out of the lures, so I don't really know what's going on. Buzzkill's pretty nice. I think I already had Buzzkill. Buzzkill. I've got, like, almost every mod. Not all of them. I'm still missing some some of the kind of weird ones. But I, like... I have a ludicrous amount of, uh... Kind of the rare ones. Because I was just like, eh, let's go on a shopping spree. They're not that expensive. And I was right, they weren't. Oh, my, um... My Sentinel is dead, so I can't... I really wish Universal Vacuum was a thing. Why isn't it a thing? D... I kind of wish that there were, like, quality of life improvements that they'd sell. At the very least, or something. I'd, I'd shell out a couple bucks for... Uh, for Universal Vacuum. I don't know if they really wanted to... They really wanted to nickel and dime people. Yeah, it exists. It's just very small. Yeah. I want, like, a bigger one. Honestly, I don't see why loot ha uh, has to be... Oh, that was... I don't see why loot doesn't just, uh, anytime anybody in the party picks it up, it doesn't just go to you. Like, the idea of it being kind of this rare and inconvenient thing to get is... I've never understood. It could actually be kind of neat if there was, like, um... Beyond, like, the focus system, or for the focus system, if there were, like, account-based upgrades that you could get. Like, uh, what's a good example? Uh, well, let's figure out what we got first. So I got two Radiant Eidolon Shards, two Riven Transmuters. I don't even know what those do. 78 Intact Sentinel Cores, uh, 11 Exceptional Sentient Cores, 8 Eidolon Shards, 17 Flawless, 3 Brilliant. You got 90, 96 Cores. Where's that... I don't know. I don't know where the disparity come, came from. I was trying to loot all of them, but I guess maybe I just didn't see some. Okay, so let's see if I can go rank up. It sounds like his dialogue is messed up, but I have no idea. Okay, Radiant Eidolon Shards can be exchanged on the focus screen for 40,000 each. Brilliance for 25,000 each. Woohoo, fun. 
Okay. Uh, let's see. Offerings. No, that's not it. Next title is 10 Eidolon Shards and 100... Th Hi, that's pricey. Okay. Well, unfortunately, I'm going to hit the daily limit, which is dumb. But I guess that's okay. All right. Uh, let's see. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to wait for the rest of this, aren't I? Uh, that's dumb. That's not the end of the world. Oh, if you ranked up my mastery ranking, I'd have a higher cap. Okay, fine. Well, uh, that's that's fine. This is a good stopping point, anyway. I'm gonna go back to the ship. Let's go take a look at the the adjusted focus screen. You want a Chroma, Bless Trinity, and two others. Rhino O'Hara would be good. Oh, oh, that's that's from before. I was like, that's weird advice to be handing me now. We just finished, but that's okay. Really need King of Bullshit Mountain type art for Captain Butts of the Useless Squad. <laughs> oh, uh, somebody wants to remind me on Discord. I wouldn't mind doing that. Okay. Uh, let's see. Daily focus cap. Zenerek. Pool can now be upgraded using focus from many schools. Gotcha. What's the passive? Energy pickups? Okay, that's not that helpful. Yeah, it's the operator energy regen by 15%. And these are both way bound. Though energizing dash is probably the only reason why I really care about this entire tree. Vazarin. Affinity ra radius. I don't actually know which one I should go. Because I like Xenoric for a lot of reasons. The operator energy uh, regen is pretty helpful. If Azrin can up, up your operator's health, though. That's a good point. Oh! Is... Mending Unity is is not a waybound passive. It's just a regular passive. Yeah? Or do I have to... No, no, no. It, it's just a passive. It's Enduring Tides that is not. Okay, so how do I get Vazir? Mm. No. How do I unlock Vazarin? Ah. I need 50,000. Can't do that. So I can't do the conversion if I wanted to. Whereas I can do focus conversion over here. Yeah, so really I need to go out and just actually do some Vazarin stuff. Let's see, so how many of these do I have? Do I only have two? Vaslens, Vaz Focus, Unlock School. Yeah. So I just gotta go do Affinity Farming. Well, maybe we'll do, do that in a night or two. Anyway. Let's see, what, do I want to see what an aquarium looks like? Uh, probably should. Here, give me a second though. I'm gonna, what is, okay. Fine. Let's let's see what your uh, what your aquarium looks like. Uh, how does this work? Okay, I should have four to five radiant. Yep. Ah, there we go. Yeah, I'll do the conversion later. What I need to do is probably just some affinity farming in the next day or two. I wouldn't mind doing more Eidolon, too, but uh, got to work on stuff. So this is your orbiter. I would, I would like it if they actually added a bunch of different orbital orbiter internals. Uh, 
Oh, that's a freaky fish guy. If I ever saw one. That's a cool fish. That was a cool fish. So if you catch fish, you can just chuck them in here. Two large, four medium, and some smalls. Cool. I will have to mess around with these. I'm gonna bop out though. I'm oh, return return to orbiter. That's the one. I'm gonna go see Master Rank 17. <coughs> what is the Mastery Rank 17? 15 seconds to kill 30 enemies. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see, I'm just gonna watch a quick video. Is it melee only? Is it any weapon I want? It sounds like a job for Ember. Yeah, it really does sound like a job for Ember. I didn't know if it was like use no abilities or anything like that, but nope. Alright, well that looks really easy. Okay, I'm gonna leave squad, equipment, arsenal. Yeah, and I'm aware that the uh, range on World of Fire has been nerfed, but it's still better than uh, most of the other things that I've got immediately available. Let's see, I have stretch. Do I have. It doesn't look like I have overextended on. I'd probably rather have overextended than Constitution right now. Cuts the strength pretty hard, and it's going to up the cost, but that extra range will be nice. Okay. So let's do... How do I do my Mastery Rank tests? What? Oh, right, there, sorry. Brain. Okay. Sure. Remember, you can practice in the relay. This is a good point. I, I should be fine. I think I'm going to be fine. Maybe I am. I was kind of slow in the uptake with the orbs. Do I have to melee the orb or can I just hit it? I have no idea. It looks like I'm doing fine though. Uh oh. Okay, gotta melee the orb for it. Okay, one more enemy. There we go, we're good. I need something with a little bit more range. And I really should have probably just brought my uh, Ignis. But we're fine. I don't like Master Rank tests. <laughs> What's the mastery rank 18 test? Is it just a defend? Or a survival? Let's see, I don't care about equipment unlocks. I don't care about unlocks at all. I just want to know what the uh, what the mastery list tests are. Ah, here we are. 18. Corpus, five waves. Wow, that's really easy. 
Arcwing time trial. Sounds scary, but... Okay. Nope, never mind. Mastery rank 20 is dead simple. Fly through rings on your arc wing. Huh. Well, I guess I'll have to mess with uh, a bunch of these things. Uh, in a day or two, though. 